skeleton on a building site in Manchester and sparked a murder inquiry. We can determine a number of basic features about the skeleton, in that there was a, a Caucasian female between 18 and 30 years old, probably between 5 foot 1 and 5 foot 7 inches tall. There were also a number of worrying features on the skeleton. We identified a fracture to the right side of the jaw. There was also a small fracture in one of the cervical vertebrae. These are the basic bones of the neck. There was also a fracture to the nasal bone as well. And all of these injuries, particularly when taken together, are suspicious that she'd been subjected to a blunt force physical assault just prior to her death. And therefore, this, this case is suspicious of, of a homicide taking place. In an inquiry like this, there is no CCTV, there are no witnesses that we've traced so far, there's no house to house, so identifying the victim is the key to unlocking the mystery. Well, some exciting developments actually. Forensic scientists have now been able to obtain a full DNA profile from the remains. Now this means, as detectives search for potential victims who may have gone missing in the 1970s, they'll be able to easily check the profile against DNA to identify the remains. Great stuff.